Released nationwide on February 12, 2014, this futuristic sci-fi reboot of the 1980s classic of the same name is the latest in a long line of unoriginal cash grabs for Hollywood. Surprisingly though, it doesn't suck. It's actually a lot of fun. So if it manages to earn back its $130 million budget, you can probably expect a sequel or two. Immediately opening with a snippet of Basil Polidorus' iconic theme and the big metallic text logo, it's apparent this film isn't necessarily attempting to distance itself from its predecessor, even including some humorous callbacks for good measure. Although it takes many liberties from its source material, the plot is similar. A Detroit police officer is killed in the line of duty, only to be resurrected as a crime-fighting cyborg, also functioning as a marketing puppet for a greedy conglomerate. Relatively unknown outside of Sweden, 34-year-old Joel Kinnaman stars as the title character, and thanks to a smart decision to focus more on Robocop's psychological struggles, he carries a fair amount of the film on his shoulders. Unfortunately, Kinnaman is rarely charismatic and delivers his lines with all the passion of, pardon the pun, a robot. Thankfully, he's surrounded by a great cast that includes Gary Oldman, Michael Keaton, Jackie Earl Haley, and Samuel L. Jackson, some of whom are able to shine more than others. Plus, nerds in the audience will love seeing Commissioner Gordon and Batman share several scenes together. You wanted a man inside a machine, and that's what you've got, but the, but the human element will always be present. Fear, instinct, bias, uh, compassion, they will always interfere with the system. Okay, but damn it, I've got to give the American people something they can root for, something aspirational, right? They have to believe in this thing. Pretty good, that's not, I don't know how to sell okay. So I don't care how you do it, I'm asking you, come on, can you help me? Just get him to do that. that him to do that. a machine. I know, but it's a man inside a machine. No, that's a man inside a machine, right, right there! And, and his life depends on it, and the future of Omnicorp depends on it, so get your ass back to China and get it fixed. I don't care how you do it, just go do it. The film's most unnerving scene, however, has Oldman showing Kinnaman what's really left of his human body after his death. Piece by piece, everything but a handful of organs are removed, leaving literally nothing but a floating head suspended in front of a mirror. So shocked and horrified by what he sees, the newly birthed Robocop immediately asks to die. It's a quick moment of sheer brilliance for the film that truly elevates its emotional power above and beyond the shallower original. Earlier, Abby Cornish, playing the part of the weeping and angry wife, argues, You said you could save him, but what kind of life would he have? Despite going a bit overboard with some shaky cam, one action set piece has Robocop hunting down bipedal drones in an empty warehouse, set to the unexpectedly effective sounds of Focus's prog rock hit, Hocus Pocus. This scene's frequent use of POV shots, complete with an on-screen kill count, makes it play out like an awesome video game. Director Jose Pitya's decision to go for a PG-13 rating means much of the original's trademark violence has been watered down. One disorienting pitch-black shootout, lit only by muzzle flashes, was almost seizure-inducing. A touch longer than it needs to be at 118 minutes, the realistic visuals will still keep you entertained. While fans of the series may enjoy this as much as the original, this is still a well-made reboot worthy of the franchise name, and one I wouldn't mind seeing again. The Robocop reboot is gripping and absorbing, despite clunkiness. Here are some of your thoughts and reviews now from the comments. Our scores for Robocop, a 6 and an 8. Several criticized this film for even existing, but were at least entertained by the action, rating it a good. Even though I didn't care for the new matte black paint job, I was surprised by this picture, and watching them back to back, I honestly enjoyed it more than the original. I thought it was great.